just jump in for a second. Ellie, stay in the middle of the park for a moment.
welcome back to this round seven match in the perfect.
And welcome back to this Round 7 National Premier League Women's New South Wales match today. We've got the home team, Northern Tigers, taking on the undefeated MacArthur Rams. I'm Annabelle Banfield here at North Tomorrow Recreation Area. And thank you to all those tuning in. It's a very exciting game we've got in store for you. As I mentioned, undefeated, top of the table, MacArthur Rams travelling here to take on the Northern Tigers, who currently sit in ninth place on the ladder, but they are starting to build some momentum. Their first win came two weeks ago against the Emerging Jets. And they followed that up last week with a quite a positive result, taking a draw against Arpia Leichhardt, who are the reigning premiers of the side. Tigers are missing a key attacking threat today. Amira Makunja is out for the game, but they do have Amy Hislop back in the striking spot. On the Rams side, they come in with an unchanged lineup after their 7 0 thrashing of Emerging Jets last week. And then just Aaron Gordon returns to the bench for the Rams. I'm just going to go through the lineups here today. The home side, Northern Tigers, starting number three, Ella Gatorna, number four, Isabella Keach, number five, Jessie Ferrapari, number eight, Jade McAtamney, ten, Amy Hislop, eleven, Lily McMahon, fourteen, Beth Bernardi, fifteen, Abby Middleton, sixteen, Olivia Cartwright, eighteen, Nikola Dominikovic, and thirty-nine in goals, Amy Hall. And on the bench, they have number one, Jody Drever, number 12, Saffron Grass, 26, Phoebe Riley, 33, Molly Reckless, 44, Blake Hughes, and 48, Isla Witham. We're just about to get underway here at North Taramara. And here we have the Rams getting us started. As for the Rams lineup today. The Rams start today in goals with Theresa Morrissey just making that clearing effort there. And then they've got number four, Libby Morris. Uh, number 11, Bronte True. 14, Miku Sunaga. 15, Tia Machensky. 19, Olivia Sloan. 20, Crystal Duggan. 24, Lola Sosai. 26, Chelsea Barton. 27, Jasmine Limon. 35, Tanil Hay on the starting lineup. And on the bench, they've got number five, Erin Gordon returning, as well as number eight, Lara Dipple. Number 18, Helena Halios Lewis. Number 28, Madeline Malone. And number 31, Angelina Scamadella, as well as the backup keeper, number 42, Katie Christie. Should be in for an exciting game today. Zola Sosa on the ball, playing it forward. Machansky's looking forward, can't connect with any of her Rams forwards. Rams have proven over the last few games that they're quite adept at scoring goals. The only game where they didn't manage to score any was the nil all draw they had recently with Northwest Spirit. But they would like to be able to put on a performance more similar to last week's game against Emerging Jets than that performance against Spirit. There's Tanil Hay on the ball. They've got a difficult backline to break down the Rams. Both the goalkeeper of the month and the defender of the month with Theresa Morrissey taking out the goalkeeper award and Tanil Hay winning the defender of the month for March. So really difficult defence that the Northern Tigers will be up against today. Here they go, trying to play it forward to his lot. Morrissey's able to come out and grab it. They'll be looking to use the speed and athleticism of his lot today. She's very quick on the ball. Sosa tries to force it through, can't, keeps it though, and recycles it backwards to Chelsea Barton. Now Barton's driving forward. Her passing attempt was broken up by Dominikovic. 
Now Bernardi's able to turn and face forward. Dominikovic on the ball again. Forward to McMahon. And once again, to Marisa Morrissey forced to come off her line early here at North Tamara. She sends it long towards Bronte True. She's been quite the pickup for the side. Coming in from League One Women's Competition, where she played last year with South Coast Flame. She was the golden boot of that competition, Bronte True. So she's scored a number of goals already this season, six so far. So she'll be looking to try and replicate her 29 from last year. Oh, ball comes in, doesn't get any Tigers players to touch it. Good cross in from McTamney. Middleton with the throw in. Dangerous area. It's come out to Bernardi. She plays it forward for Middleton. Will she keep it in? Yes, she does. Good cross. Cartwright gets the head, but it's not dangerous particularly, and Morrissey can grab that one. Well done there by Beth Bernardi to win it back for her side. Now McMahon. Dominikovic pushing forward for Middleton. Did a bit of a swap there. Normally Middleton's the one that plays at the back. Bit of an overlapping run there from her. Good long throwing down the sideline. Well, Sosay almost trying to use some of her AFL skills to stop Dominikovic getting on the ball. She, um, yeah, good feature came out about her earlier this year from... Nicola Pozda, she retired last season and went to play AFL on the South Coast instead, but football drew her back and the MacArthurians got a really good signing with Lola Sosai playing as left back for them. Ball's gone behind onto the warm-up field, so Middleton's been sent round to retrieve it. Bernardi on the ball once again, forward to Middleton. Bernardi did well to keep that in and she's won the throw for her side. She's right on the line. She did well there. Aiming for McMahon on that one, but Sosai stops it, sends it over the sideline. Ball comes in. It's going to go out over the goal line, and Teresa Morrissey will have her goal kick. I believe the first goal kick of the game, actually. So Rams looking to go long. They're all shifting across to this right hand side of the field, and Morrissey gets it forward. But Bernardi once again stops it. Wins it back for the Tigers here. She drops it back to Keach. And they're going to look to rebuild. Now out to Furupowery. Now. Send it all the way back to Amy Hall. They'll be hoping to get it forward soon. Almost stopped by Tima Chensky. Out over the sideline though. Chelsea Barton does well to get in front. Kislot there. Oh, off the head of McMahon. To know how he able to sort that one out. Now True's on the ball. Bronte True able to face forward. She's looking for Sunaga, but Ferrapari did well. Found Bernardi 
with her pass. Now McTamney can't get it past Machensky. Now Chelsea Barton will look to just compose things a little bit for the Rams. McMahon and back to Bernardi. Good combination play between those two. Morrissey sends it forward. Keach does well to get her head under that one. Now Bernardi once again. She's seemingly been all over the place these first few minutes. So Tigers will be looking for her to keep that up through the game. Now Cage firing it forward. Can't get it through Barton. But the Tigers have it back. Cartwright on the ball now. She's looking to switch it. Finds the space out wide. Good run there from the left back, Ella Gatorna. But a better tackle made by Olivia Sloan. Great tackle. And now the Rams have it. Miku Sanaga charging forward. Ball's landed with Libby Morris. Back to Sloan. Looking for the forward run of Bronte True there on the long ball, but a bit too close, and Amy Hall got to it first. Going to play it out from the back through for a powery. Now Keach on it. Good movement up. In front from her forwards, but she can't find any of them. Now Lola Sosai's on the ball. Gets forward to True. True with a clever little flick on. And she's been fouled as she attempted to turn. I believe she's got an elbow in the face or something in her face. She's clutching at. But she's won the free kick from her side. For her side, I should say. Setting up a four-person wall here, the Tigers. It's quite a dangerous area. Machensky and Sosai are both set up over the ball. Both teenagers set up with it. And Machensky takes it. But it's towards Amy Hill. She's able to deal with that one relatively easily. Yeah, the Rams have far more teenagers and youth in their side. They do have the experience of Tennille Hay at the back. She's 30 years old. But overall, they're a much younger side than these Northern Tigers who have a bit more experience with them. Oh, good ball forward. Dominikovic heads it on to Middleton. But she can't control it. That's probably going to be a bit of the Tigers' game plan tonight, getting it forward, direct plays through to Hislop and Dominikovic, as well as McMahon, who appears to be playing the strike role, and Hislop shifted out more towards a left wing position. Rams have Got the ball forward to True. She's able to step around Cartwright. Find forward run of Olivia Sloan. Sloan still driving forward. Now to Sanaga, back to Sloan. But it's one there by the Tigers. They're able to compose themselves at the back. Both teams looking quite composed on the ball these first few minutes. Happy to build it up. As I say, that Keach sends it forward. And Tenille Hay gets on the end of it. And Chelsea Barton sends the header back to Theresa Morrissey. Back to Barton. Now forward to Duggan. Oh, sorry, Morris, I should say. Now it goes to Duggan. Oh, trying to play a little sneaky around the corner past to Sosai, but not even Sosai knew it was coming, and that one goes out over the sideline. 
Good long throw of Middleton once again. That's a good attacking threat that the Northern Tigers have in their arsenal. McMahon's trying to head that one in towards his lot. Can't do so. It's bouncing all over the place in the box there. McMahon's come away with it. Lots of people on the ground. Ref has no whistle blown, says play on. And Chelsea Bott is going to bring that one out. She finds True. True attempts a bit of a flick on behind and doesn't connect with the ball. Instead, it goes out for a throw in. Carrot on the ball now. Puts forward towards Middleton. I apologise, Lily McMahon. The front three of the Northern Tigers are already quite happy to switch their roles in and out. Here's Lop shifted back into the striker position. McMahon's on the right, and Dominikovic has moved out to the left, so quite happy to move in and out of their roles, try and create some trickery that the Rams defence has to deal with. Unlucky just for Parry attempts to control her in her chest. Doesn't do that very well. True scoops up to get the ball. Shot comes in. Great save there by Amy Hall. Fully outstretched dive from her. Now Machensk has it on the edge of the box. Looks for Duggan, but Beth Bernardi steps up to get it. Duggan. Off the volley, heads over the crossbar. But that's the best chance the Rams have had so far. Apart from that free kick, although it wasn't particularly challenging for Hall. Amy Hall shifted everyone up. She's gonna, going to send this one long. Amy Hislop gets on the end of that one. Tries to do some sort of long shot, but the ball was bouncing in quite a way out, so that might have been a little bit ambitious from Hislop. She's won the ball back, though. Good defending from Sosai to win the throw in. Sosa on the ball once again. Northern Tigers trying to get it, it, get it in the box. Chelsea Barton stops them from doing that. Once again, Tigers stepping forward trying to control the ball. Doesn't do a great job, luckily. Gatorn had some plays in behind to help her deal with that one. Mika Sunaga gets to this ball. She inadvertently heads it back for the Tigers. To Neil Hay, well done stepping forward to stop that progress. Sosai's just going to send it back, try and calm everything down a little bit. Great ball forward to Olivia Sloan from Morrissey there. Forward to True. Bronte True is dispossessed though by Ferrapari. Free kick's given for the Rams. Bit of pushing in the back there, the ref saw. Sloan stepping up to take this one. Tricky sort of range here. Could be a shot, could be a cross. Most players lining up on the edge of the box. Sloan goes for the cross, but Rams didn't really run to where the ball landed. So Tigers didn't have much pressure in dealing with that one. Two dangerous spots that the Rams have won free kicks now in this game, but they'd probably want them both over again. Weren't able to create much danger on either occasion. Oh, 
Bernardi, not a great ball. Machensky picks it up on the edge of the box. Isabella Keach does well to smother the shot. And they're looking forward, but there's no runner for the Tigers, so Morrissey can step up and calmly play it to Chelsea Barton. Sosa making a run forward. Ball goes to Libby Morris. Great ball forward to Lola Sosai. She puts the cross in. Well dealt with by Ella Gatorna and Isabella Keach. Good teamwork on the clearance there. Now McTamney on the ball. Good bit of skill. Minakovic sends it forward towards Cartwright, but Tanil Hay has her for speed on that occasion. Libby Morris on the ball in the midfield for the Rams. Sends it back to Hay. Now Barton. Once again to Morris. Tigers aren't happy with that one, but Morris takes a tumble after some contact in the back from Bernardi, and the ref pays the MacArthur Rams free kick. From about the halfway line, about a metre behind halfway for the Rams. Gets forward to Limon. Back to Barton and Hay. Quite a compact defensive setup from the Tigers here. It's clearly worked. They want it back, but not for long. Oh, once again, Zeminikovic on the ball. Good run here. Oh, heavy contact there between Zeminikovic and Jasmine Lemon. But ref's not giving anyone the free kick. Sosai's on the ball now. Oh, pass goes straight to McMahon. Oh, good ball forward to Dominikovic. Just out of reach for her. She did stretch for it. Could have been a very exciting opportunity for the Tigers there. Keech on it, plays it to McMahon. Oh, that one. She's going to get a warning for Lola Sosai. Came in the back of Lily McMahon quite strongly. And now the Tigers have their own free kick just their side of halfway. Aiming for Hislop and Dominikovic forced to the feet of Hislop. Tries to turn and face forward. Rams make the tackle though. Now for a Powery. Good ball forward to McAtamney. McTony with the shot. Oh, just missing. Clever shot there. Not able to put it on target, though. Morrissey sends it forward. Kurapari steps forward to get there before True. And now the Tigers have a throw in on their right hand side, which Abby Middleton steps up to take. Aims for his lob. Now McMahon on the ball. McMahon's able to turn and face forward, drive. Cheeky little flick around Sosai. She can't recover it. Probably slightly too close to the goal line for her to give herself enough time to get back on the ball. But it's a good play. If she had a few more metres, she may well have retrieved it there, Lily McMahon. This time the Rams aiming for the right-hand side of the field towards Shinaga. She gets the flick on on the header. But now the ball's back with the Tigers. And back with the Rams once more. Turning it over quickly there, both sides. Megatamni trying to settle things down. Sends it back to Amy Hall. And now Keach, back to Hall once again. Keach looking forwards. 
towards his lot. Chelsea Barton does well. Gets her head on that one. Ford once again aiming for his lot. I think she was looking for the run of McMahon there, but they didn't quite link up well enough to keep the ball. Now soft side of Duggan. Good pressure there by the Tigers. Forcing it out, winning themselves the throw. Oh, Another throw for the Tigers here on this right-hand side. Now Machensky on the ball for the Rams. They've, I was about to say they've won it back, but then Beth Bernardi stepped in and got the ball again for the Tigers. She's done that a lot so far today. Tenille Hay comes out to deal with that one, sends it out over the sideline. She's... Not messing around with it there on the edge of the box. Once again, Tenille Hay does well, stepping out, winning the ball. It's quite crazy to think that Tenille Hay only returned to the MPL standard competition last year, previously playing for... The local MacArthur side, in the local MacArthur League, sorry, I should say. Oh, Lily McMahon's shot blocked by Libby Morris. McTamney off her left foot. Oh, just wide there. It's a good chance for the Tigers. Probably their best of the game. But yeah, no, it's new hate. It's incredible what she's, you know, Mother of three decided to come back to the MPL and done it incredibly well. As I said, Defender of the Month for the competition in March. So, great signing for the Rams last season. Helped them win the grand final. And they're looking for their three-peat this year after winning the last two grand finals. Oh, good pressure from the Rams. Good press. Bronte True sends it to Sunaga. Oh, it's around Elegatorna. But Amy Hall comes charging off her line and dives on that one. Good bit of combination play from True and Sunaga. Good pressure once again from the Rams. They win it back with Crystal Doggan. Trying to get round Middleton. Middleton does well to keep that one in. She wasn't letting that go out for a corner. Rams instead have a throw in. So so with the throw forward to True. True tries to turn and face forward, but tackles made before she can have the shot. Louis Morris finds Sunaga. Back to True. Clever little flick onto Sunaga. Oh, wasn't made in time. Sunaga was offside on that shot, which wasn't on target anyway, so. Amy Hall gets to move the ball a little bit further forward than if it had him in a goal kick because of the offside there from Miku Sunaga. Okay, looking forward. Oh, it does well. Here's Lot passing it off to Dominikovic. Oh! McMahon! Oh, Teresa Morrissey makes the save. Northern Tigers crowd not happy with that challenge on Dominikovic. She had got rid of the ball when she was charged then, so kind of fair enough to be a bit frustrated with that call. Neil Hay on it now. Got some space to drive into. 
for the forward runner, Sloan. Should be able to get there in time to keep it in. Yes, she does. Great ball there from Tennille Hay. Lovely placement on it. Cross comes in, but there's no Rams there to challenge Isabella Keach. Tennille Hay has it back for the Rams. Now Barton and Soso. She's being pressed by Amy Hislop. Soso does well, despite a clear size disadvantage for her there. Good defending there from Soso. One of the smaller players on the field going up against the tallest in Amy Hislop. She's been, she's been sent back by the referee. Pinching a few metres on the throw in, but not to be. Good turn there by Libby Morris. Oh, tries to get the ball to Sunaga. Gatona steps up, stops that from happening. Cartwright plays it out to McMahon. McMahon's able to face forward. Send it. Bernardi and Dominikovic. Neither could get on the end of it. It was Sosai instead. She finds Morris. Oh, clever ball forward to Bronte True. Her speed's pretty challenging. She tries to get the cross off. Does well, but Mika Sinago wasn't there where the ball landed. Sloan on it now. Mikatamni. Intercepts the pass forward, and the Tigers are back on the ball. Now it's Bella Cage back to Hall. Jesse Furapari finds McMahon, tries a little flick onto Gatorna, gets there on a second attempt. Now Gatorna is looking to play the ball in behind for his lot, but Tanil Hay does well to cover that. Finds Sunaga. Cartwright's got it back for the Tigers, though. And now Gatorna. They're just going to recycle it with their centre back, Jesse Furapauri. She plays a little chip in behind, but no one was challenging Tanil Hay, so easy enough to deal with that one. Out to Morris. And now Hay looking forward towards True. Can't get there. Now Amy Hislop on the ball, flicks it out to McAtamney. Good piece of work to avoid Sloan. Cross comes in. Oh. Finds Dominikovic's feet, but she can't steer it on target. That was a good bit of play there by Jade McAtamney. Theresa Morrissey, forward, finds Crystal Duggan. Good pass to Sosai. Sosai looking for some options forward. She's going to take a con Middleton herself. Does well, finds True. True couldn't face forward to get the shot off. It was a good bit of play there by Lola Sosai. One of them, hey, don't point. Hey, one of you's got to stand there. Sosa now at the throw. She finds Machensky. Back to Sosa. Oh, good pressure from Dominikovic making the tackle. Sosa gets herself another throw in, though. Different option this time. Going backwards to Chelsea Barton. Once again to Tenille Hay, all the way out to Olivia Sloan. They've switched it out to the right-hand side. Now Sunaga on the ball. Oh, well done by Sunaga to get round Ella Gatorna. Her cross a bit too deep. Though Amy Hall on it before Crystal Duggan. Crystal Duggan appears to have 
Done a bit of a swap with Tia Machensky, who was previously playing left wing, and now Duggan's out there. Machensky's moved into an attacking midfield role. MacArthur Rams have really started to high press these last minutes in the second half. I mean, first half, I should say. It's reaping rewards for them. Able to force the Tigers to play that one out. Duggan on the ball. Back to Morris. Good bit of skill there by Morris, but she's still forced to play back to Barton. Once again to Morris and Barton. Good combination play from those two. Oh, great ball forward to Sosai. Cage stops the cross, but the Rams have won themselves a corner. Yeah, first corner of the game. Plays it short to Machensky. Cross comes in. Finds Duggan. Can't control it well in her first touch and leaves the ball bouncing around. Tigers able to step in and stop her from taking that shot. Now Sloan has a throw in for the Rams. Gets to Morris. Bernardi stops the one two. The Rams still have the ball though. Throwing goes forward for a power, he wins it. Gets it to his lot. He's able to turn and face forwards. Not sure who she was looking for there. There was not really any Tigers plays around where Chelsea Barton was. Now Morris on the ball. Back to Sloan. And Sinaga with a good run. She'll be able to take on Gatorna again. Once again. Takes on Ella Gatorna and this time forces Gatorna to make the foul. So hopefully Sinaga's okay. She's still down. Hasn't got up. Now she does get back up to her feet. Didn't look too serious in the moment, but you never know. Sloan's going to take this one right out from near the sideline. Sends it to Limon, back to Sloan. Sloan gets herself around Elegatorna, cross comes in. Bernardi gets a touch, back to Hay. Now Duggan. Shot's blocked. And there's the first goal, courtesy of Miku Sunaga. Tigers are claiming offside there, but I think that has been overruled because the shot deflected off them. So the offside is null and void. And instead, we have our opening goal of the game. Miku Sunaga scoring for the MacArthur Rams to make it 1-0 here at North Taramara Recreation Area. That's Sunaga's fifth goal of the season, so... She's quite a goal-scoring machine for the MacArthur Rams. Still not their top scorer, though. Bronte True's had more this season, so a threat of those two. It's quite strong for any teams coming up against the Rams this year. Sosai does place the throw-in back to Barton. Oh, not a great play there. Sosai can't control that pass. Tigers have themselves the ball. On the edge of the box too. Bouncing around. Barton able to deal with it, sending it forward to Duggan. Now McTamney out to Elegatorna. Torna sends the ball forward. Dominikovic gets there, but can't keep it in out off the head of Nikola Dominikovic there. Stepping in front of a relatively flat-footed Sosai on that play. Morrissey sends it forward. Duggan gets on it. Now Sosai plays it forward towards True. But for a power, he steps up. Go on, go on, go on. 
Isabella Keach sends that one forward. And Tenille Hay puts it out over the sideline. So Amy Hislop can't make the tackle on her. Middleton with the throw. Rams have it back. Chelsea Barton does well, sends the ball out, but takes a touch from Jade McTamney, and the Rams will have the ball. Bit of a tricky position, perhaps to work themselves out of, right down in their own corner. Tigers will be looking to keep them here, or even win the ball back. Barton trying to send it out of the trouble, but Bernardi is on the ball. Keach looking to find some space, sends it back to Hall. Now Keach again. Forward to Middleton. Middleton's able to drive forward. That's Sosai. Good tackle there by Lola Sosai. Very strong in the challenge. Pass forward. Doesn't really go to her players though. Isabella Keach. Oh, great sliding interception there. Miku Sunaga. And does another one. Oh, McMahon's on it though. Some scrambling defence from the Rams here. Ball forward to his lot. Great ball forward there by Abby Middleton. Abby Middleton, sorry. Amy Hislop was the one with the header. She had a bit of time and space for herself too, but the header wasn't on target. So so throws it forward for True. True's penalised though for coming into the back of Beth Bernardi. And Isabella Keach will have a throw. I mean, a free kick just inside the MacArthur Rams half. Here with less than five minutes to go in the first half. Ball goes forward. Chelsea Barton, another header from her. She may well have a sore head by the end of this game if. Trajectory keeps up. She's made a lot of headers. Keach tries to get it through to McAtamney. McAtamney's on the ball now, though. Morris to Machensky. Out to Miku Sinaga. Katona's coming up to put some pressure. Tries to get the ball forward to True. But the Tigers win it back. Now McMahon back to Furupari. True's coming in to put some pressure. Now Beth Bernardi on the ball. Forward to McMahon. Good turn there from Lily McMahon. And lovely pass to Elegatorna. Cross comes in. First effort not fully dealt with by Chelsea Barton, but second attempt, the Rams are able to get it out of trouble. Limon back to Morris, who goes back again to Tennille Hay. Now Sloan to Morris. Tennille Hay says, enough of these passes in the back area. I'm sending it forward. Cartwright on the ball now in the midfield for the Tigers. Here's up. Oh, good flick on to Beth Bernardi. She plays to Dominikovic. Good piece of defending there. Chelsea Barton and Lola Sosai. Good teamwork from those two because that was a good chance for the Tigers. Machensky can't get the ball forward to True. She's back on it now though, Machensky. Better ball forward. She does get that one to True. Now True's able to skip around for a powery. Oh, the penalty's given! Bronte True had the ball. For a powery, seemed to be, according to the ref at least, pushing her down, not letting her hop up. For a powery's claiming that Bronte True had hold of her arm though and was pulling her to the ground. So 
bit controversial here. MacArthur Rams have been awarded the penalty though, and it's Bronte True who's stepping up to take it. Tigers fans and Bench not happy with that call. True's put it on the spot. Takes it. Straight down the middle. Lovely goal from Bronte True, who did well to earn herself the penalty on that occasion. Although a little bit controversially. Tiger's a little bit frustrated with that call, but telling each other to forget about it, keep their heads up, and get themselves back in this game. Just a minute to go before halftime, and it's now 2 0 here to the MacArthur Rams at North Taramara Recreation Area. Tiger sending it forward, trying to get one back before half time. Cartwright on the ball. Oh! We have another penalty, this time going the way of the Tigers. Neil Hayes claiming the foul happened outside the box, but it was a clear foul for that occasion. Neil Hay laid in the challenge on Olivia Cartwright. So they may yet get one back. They've certainly got the good opportunity to. Who is stepping up to take it? Looks like Captain Lily McMahon taking the responsibility on her shoulders. Theresa Morrissey getting very active in her goal, trying to throw off the penalty taker any way she can. And McMahon puts it in the bottom right-hand corner. And 2-1 here at North Tomorrow Recreation Area. Northern Tigers get one back, and we have a very exciting game on our hands coming up this second half. Although, first half isn't over just yet. We could... But the way it's ended here, we could be seeing even more goals. Late, late couple of penalties. One going the way of either side here. Oh, McMahon steps forward to win that. Gets forward to his lap. Bit of skill from his lap. Doesn't make the defenders bite. He's up with the shot. Oh. Fully outstretched, Theresa Morrissey jumping up to make that save. But it was a good strike from Hislop. Hislop sends it forward towards Sunaga. Machensky's on the ball for the Rams in the midfield. Machensky to Duggan. Middleton gets there in time. Rams will have a throw in rather than what could have been a Chance on goal if Crystal Duggan had have got to that ball. Not long to go in this first half. Sosai makes the throw in. Keach gets on it. And now Bernardi sends it up but not very far out of her box. And there we go. Half time here at North Taramara. MacArthur Rams taking the lead into the break. MacArthur Rams 2 to Northern Tigers 1. Make sure you stay watching for a very exciting second half coming up here.
problem is only the ACL here. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
No, I just need to charge something that um probably die. I don't know why it's not in the bag, I don't know what it is.
Ball out there from Tenille Hay. Came into my hands, so made the stop on that one. Tigers with the throw in. Tamir's Theresa Morrissey plays it short to Neil Hay. Driving forward. Looks for True, but Elegatorna steps up. Stops the ball getting forward, and then Hayes forced to kick it out over the sideline. Well, maybe not forced to, but does so anyway. Good turn there by Olivia Cartwright. Now Bernardi's on the ball. Tries to play it forward for his lot. Oh. Wouldn't be surprised if that's awarded a free kick. Theresa Morrissey steps up to make a dive at the ball. And Dominikovic yeah, crashes into a head. I think it's, um, it's just resetting. Which? Just letting you know. Yeah, Apologies for that. I must have seemed like one of the longest half times in quite a while, but we are 20 minutes into the second half here at North Tarmara Recreation Area. No goals so far in the second half, so still 2 1 for the Rams here over the Tigers. I have been commentating the last 20 minutes thinking everyone was still tuning in, so apologies for the technical difficulties. Been a pretty balanced second half so far. Both teams have had some chances. Northern Tigers with a couple of good corners to test out the Rams defense, but they've held up so far. Sunaga on the ball. Malone with the shot attempt. Not on target though. So Amy Hall will get herself a goal kick. She plays out to Firapauri. And now to Gatorna. Firapauri with it again. Good pressure there by Sunaga. Better recovery by Furupari, able to win it back. And forced Sunaga to take the last touch and win the Tigers the goal kick. Out to Keach. Keach sends it forward. Aiming for his lot, but once again, Barton with another header. Her head could be sore after tonight. She's Stopped a lot of those long balls that are directed towards his lot. Morris plays it back to Sloan. Now with Malone. Barton. Mm. 
Middleton on the ball now. Plays back to Hall. Quick little one-two. Middleton, it's back with Hall again. She does a good switch of play out to Gatorna. Oh, Gatorna loses her footing there. And back to Furupari. Oh, ref's not happy with that one. Tineo Hay coming into the back of Lily McMahon to make the header. Tineo Hay's claiming she'd already set her feet, claimed that ground before McMahon appeared. And Jade McTamney going to take the free kick, as I said before, but didn't capture on the broadcast. McTamney's a bit of a set-piece specialist. So let's see how this one goes. Oh, off the head of a tiger. I think it was Ella Gatorna. Bit of a crowd, couldn't fully tell. Plays ball out quickly through Sloan, the Rams, coming forward. Good ball forward to Crystal Duggan. Crosses aimed for Bronte True, and then Libby Morris with the shot. But not on target there. For all those tuning in at home who missed the first bit of the second half, we are now 24 minutes into the second half, so just over halfway through. To Neil Hay, sends it forward towards Morris, but Bernardi gets there first. Good little one-two with Cartwright. It's back now with Keach. Bronte True coming in hard to press. Amy Hall was forced to send this one long to Gatorna. Clever pass there by Gatorna. And now McAtamney. Great ball forward to Bernardi. Bernardi plays it through, but Tenille Hay stops. And the Rams have it back. Sloan now to Malone. Duggan. Tries to play it forward for Sloan, but... Middleton sends it out over the sideline. Olivia Sloan going to take the throw. Finds Libby Morris. Back to Malone. I think that pass was aimed for Chelsea Barton, but wasn't quite on target. Luckily, she had the time to go back and retrieve it. Good ball there. Libby Morris plays it to Crystal Duggan. And back to Morris. Oh, Morris aiming for Gordon, but Cartwright initially stopped it. Rams have it back, though. Now Gatorna. Good tackle there by Sunaga. Oh, ball. great ball forward for Dominikovic. Just got a bit of time here. Oh, lovely goal! And we are level here at North Taramara. Two all. Great bit of play there by the Tigers. Lovely ball in behind. Great run there by Dominikovic. She had time to set herself and play a lovely, well-placed shot into the bottom right-hand corner. Teresa Morrissey did stretch out an arm and was able to touch the ball, but it wasn't enough. And instead palmed it into her own bottom corner of the goal. So... Things just getting very exciting here. Two all with 20 minutes to go in this game. We're in for a very exciting finish as both teams will be looking to get the win. Tigers have it back. His lot wins it for them. Now for a power, he plays it out to Gatorna. She's not quite quick enough to get on the ball there. Played a little bit in front of her. So Sosai's coming up to take the throw in. Ball goes to Morris. Strong challenge there. McMahon against Sosai. Sunaga does well. Bronte True, aiming to get the cross in, but Keach 
Smothers that, and it'll be a corner instead. Tigers looking to get their first change on. Warming up on the sideline here is... <coughs> but first, Lola Soso is going to take this corner. Warming up on the sideline is Saffron Grass. Good ball in. Falls to Malone. Tries to put it forward. Tigers win it back. Send it as far away as they can. Aaron Gordon on it now for the Rams. Gordon to Barton. Out to Sossai. Good bit of skill there by Sossai to skip past Katorna. Cross comes in. Keach gets to it first. Now the ball's with Dominikovic of the Tigers. Well left there by Bernardi. Gets through to McAtamney. Ball was aimed forward for Cartwright, but Rams stop it in its tracks. Turn it back the other way. For a powering now with the ball for the Tigers. Bernardi finds his lot. His lot tries to do it all herself. Can't manage that though on that occasion. Maddie Malone's on the ball now. She finds Duggan. Duggan to True. Good little flick on from True. It's a bit of a race between her and Middleton. Middleton is able to get there. But she's forced to play it out and give the Rams a corner. Interesting to see Saffron Grass warming up here. Mentioned earlier, but I believe it's when we were still offline that Saffron Grass has just returned from a trip with the Australian schoolgirls to America playing the Dallas Cup under 19 side. She and Jodie Drever made her return for the Northern Tigers last week. But Erin Gordon for the Rams was also in that Australian schoolgirls side and makes her return for the Rams today. Very successful trip for the Australian schoolgirls who were champions in that tournament. Ball's bouncing around on the edge of the box here. Libby Morris has it now. Plays it back to Gordon. Gordon with the shot. Easy enough pickings for Amy Hall on that attempt. Not quite enough power on it from Aaron Gordon. Amy Hall sends that one out towards his lot. Does hit his lot, but she can't control it. And instead, Libby Murray scoops out the ball. Sunaga now. Trying to get around Gatorna. Gatorna does well to make that tackle. Now Gatorna making her mark an attack, driving forward. Good ball forward to McMahon. Sosai gets there just in time. Subs are being made. Amy Hislop making her way from the field. Dominikovic is shifting into the striker role. And Saffron Grass will be coming on. I'm not sure whether she'll shift into the right-hand side or the midfield here. Looks to be a midfielder. And Jade McAtamney is going to play right wing. So a few you know, shuffling, a few shuffles around on that play for the Tigers. See if it can reap the rewards. Gets the ball to McAtamney on the edge of the box. Good shot. Oh. Trying to get the curling left foot strike, but can't curl it far enough to get it on target. Good bit of play, though, so this change might be able to spark something for the Tigers and give them a chance to take the lead here. Bernardi wins that goal kick. Now Gordon with the inception. Duggan on the ball now. Duggan forward to True. Good. True's trying to get around Cage. Cage does well. Duggan has it back though for the Rams. 
Out wide to True. Sosai's making a run into the box. Lots of numbers in there for the Rams. They've got a corner for themselves. Good. One there by Bronte True. Well won by her. Connor comes in, low. McAtamney is on the ball now for the Tigers, though. Throws a step over and then tries to play the full forward for Saffron Grass. Lola Sosai is back there in a sweeping role, able to win that one back for the Rams. Oh, free kick given. McAtamney fouls Crystal Duggan in the challenge. Now Barton driving forward. Sloan. Sunaga tries to flick it on, but can't do so. Now Middleton playing it forward to Dominikovic. She tries to pass to McTamney, who wasn't on the same page as her. There. It's the exact same scoreline that the Tigers had in their game last week. Two all draw with Apia Laika. So they'll be trying to do one better this time around. Aaron Gordon now going forward. Good ball forward to Sunaga. It's fallen now to McAtamney out on the right-hand side for the Tigers. Oh, she skips around Sloan. Well done there by McAtamney. Cross comes in. Dominikovic. Sliding. So Neil Hay sends that one out. It'll be a corner for Jade McTamney to take. And MacArthur Rand still undefeated this season. They've had just the one draw. Neil all against the Northwest Sydney Spirit. Other than that, won all their other games. So top of the table right now with their five wins and the one draw. McTamney. Good ball in. Sosai, just step off the line to clear that one. Play's been stopped. Someone has gone down cramping. There's a few players in the way helping her stretch it out, so I can't quite tell who it is, but hopefully she's okay. No, you don't, Bella. Never do it. Never do it. I have to. Ella Gatorna, I have just got vision. Ella Gatorna stretching out a cramp there. She's a long way from her left back spot. Getting back. Yeah, how's your toe? How's your toe? She's been subbed off now, Ella Gatorna coming off. And Blake Hughes coming on to replace her. Number 44, Blake Hughes coming on to play left back in place of Ella Gatorna. Here with just under 10 minutes of regulation to go. Deal two all. So very exciting final ten minutes coming up. Blake Hughes long throw. Pretty much across. Lovely to have that sort of weapon in team. Tigers are arguing that it's a handball and it's paid. Madeline Malone with the handball there. Just outside the D. Perfect range for Jade McTamney. She scored one from very similar range against Emerging Jets two weeks ago in that 5 0 win. The game where she was placed in the team of the week for the league. Theresa Morris is organising her Rams defenders, putting them where she'd like them. Jade McTamney takes the wall. And so bounces off the backs of the plays in the wall. And she'll get herself a corner. But I can't imagine she's too thrilled with that effort. She'll be wanting to make up for it here. They've been threatening on their corners today, the Tigers. So they'll be hoping to actually put one away. 
Good ball in. Morrissey has to come out a long way to reach that one. And she's taken out someone in the process. One of the Tigers plays remains down. Bronte True running a long way towards the goal, but now the ball's out, play can stop. Looks like Lily McMahon is down, clutching her head, it looks like. She doesn't look great. Hasn't moved much since the challenge with Morrissey. Fizio's come on to give her a bit of attention and Morrissey was looking after her there through that whole play. As soon as the game stopped, she's run, given Lily McMahon her own water, which is good show of sportsmanship from the Rams keeper. back on her feet. She's got to come off on the sideline though because the physio came on to treat her but it doesn't look like she'll be subbed off which is good news for the Tigers. <laughs> Meanwhile the MacArthur Rams have a throw in after the run by Bronte True. True gets the cross in. Gordon's on that ball. Now to Malone. Malone with a bit of play forward. Ball comes in. Cross the box. Offside though, Lola Sosai on that play. Free kicks played back to Amy Hall and then for a parry with it once more. Good feint there to sell Miku Sunaga. Blake Hughes now able to drive forward. Trying to go around Aaron Gordon. Can't do that though. Gordon with a good tackle. Blake Hughes recovers well. Makes a tackle of her own though. And the Rams will have the throw in. Less than five minutes now in regulation, although there was... It will be a bit of injury time after Lily McMahon's injury, I imagine. Dominikovic now, slightly heavy touch. Barton's able to step in and win the ball. Good strength there from Barton. Challenge by Bernardi. Ball goes forward to Sunaga. Keach is coming across. Good tackle by Isabella Keach. Sunaga remains down, so hopefully she's okay. Meanwhile, Lily McMahon has the ball. Plays it to Olivia Cartwright. Good tackle there by Chelsea Barton. Now Gordon plays to Malone. Back to Morris. Good bit of midfield play. Ball goes forward to Bronte True. True with the shot. Great save there from Amy Hall. Good bit of play there by the Rams. That was looking dangerous. Amy Hall came in to make a clutch save at the end of it but she had to send it out for a corner. So Lola Sosa is coming up to take this one on the right-hand side for the Rams. Gordon's offering to show short. Sosa chooses to go long instead into the box. Oh, good effort there by Tenille Hay. Great power on the volley. Sunaga is down once more. And the Rams will sub, make a change. I imagine it's for Miku Sunaga. No, it's for Crystal Duggan. Angelina Scamadella coming in to the game. New to the club this year. on hoping to make her mark and score her first 
goal in Rams colours. Be the match winner for the side. Certainly would make her mark. Meanwhile, it'll be a Tigers drop ball yeah, after yeah, yeah. time was stopped for Miku Sanaga. Yeah, it is. It keeps on just... Um, the cord keeps on turning like disconnected. Well, strong challenge there between Grass and Malone. Good ball out to Blake Hughes. Blake Hughes taking on Sosai. Sosai does well. Uses her strength. Not many players have been able to run around Sosai today. She's played well. Long throw from Hughes. Lily McMahon with a flick on header. Oh, that was a good opportunity for the Tigers there. Good flick on header from Scamadella. Ferrapari steps up to win it though. Sloan sends it forward now for the Rams. Oh! Scamadella flung to the ground by Isabella Keach there on that occasion. It's Neil Hayes going to step up, going to step up and take the free kick. Sends it forward back to Hay. Hay with the ball towards Hughes. Sends it out over the sideline. Rams will have a throw in. Tigers win it back here. Blake Hughes will step up to take the throw in. She's got good range on her throw ins. Everyone's taken a few extra steps back. Um, bounces over Sosai's head. It's Neil Hay on the ball now. No. McMahon's won it back off her. Oh. Well done there by Chelsea Barton. Able to come across and send it out. Off of Lily McMahon's legs, so Rams have to throw him. Tigers have the free kick, just their side of halfway. 45 minutes is up on the clock here at Northern Tigers, so we are into injury time now. Last chance efforts for both sides. For a parry, puts this one forward. Dominikovic has it. Bernardi now. Out wide. Tamir Theresa Morrissey has the ball though. Oh. Tanu Hayes been given a yellow card, I believe, for some of the chat she's been having with the ref. A bit too vocal with the referee about the decision not to award the Rams a free kick after a supposed handball. Beth Bernardi on the ball now. Barton sends it back towards Sanaga. Rams charging forward. Bronte True on the ball. Abby Middleton sends that one out for a corner. Pressure from True forced her to do that. Uh, most of the Rams are coming up. They've left just Theresa Morrissey back. Oh, Olivia Sloan's been told to stay back as well. But they are trying to win this game, putting as many bodies in the box as they can. Ball comes in. Oh, Blake Hughes 
steps off the post to clear this one. Bronte True takes the throw in. Another corner here. Last ditch efforts for the Rams. Tags will be looking to hold on and not concede one this late into the game. Little one two. Sosa puts the ball in now. Tigers' heads get to it though. And there is your full time whistle here. Two all between the MacArthur Rams and the Northern Tigers here at North Tamar Recreation Area. Quite an intense game. Very exciting affair, especially with the two back to back penalties at the end of the first half. But teams will walk away with a point each after a closely fought affair here. Thank you to all those tuning in and make sure to watch some of the other games that are still continuing now on the Football New South Wales YouTube channel. Have a good rest of your evening. I'm Annabelle Banfield and good night.